Clap your hands, open your mouths. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Growing toward spiritual maturity. Growing toward spiritual maturity. And if I could use as a subtopic on tonight, the factory of God. The factory of God. The factory of God. Our scripture comes from Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 24. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 24. Everyone can stand for reading of the word. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 24. And it reads, And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from this, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a sip with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people, and the last verse 24 says, And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers, with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy. And he healed them. And he healed them. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And he healed them. Talking about growing towards spiritual maturity. God usually calls people as they are busy doing something. Jesus called the apostles as they were casting a net into the sea or mending their nets. It was in that day that it was customary for a rabbi to have disciples. There was nothing cult-like about Jesus asking these men to be with him constantly and to learn from him. In some aspects, Jesus offered them a traditional education at the feet of a rabbi. In other aspects, this was very different from a normal rabbinical education. The immediate response of these disciples is a great example to us. Then the first disciples did what all disciples of Jesus should do, which is that they followed him. They followed after Christ. Talking about the factory of God. Oftentimes we might wonder what is needed in order to receive a promotion at our jobs. We think about our workplace. Oftentimes we think about how long we've been there. We think about, and with other people, um, a lot of people like to kiss up to the bosses or the vice presidents and things like that to think that doesn't get them a promotion. But if we think about even on a job as we think on a spiritual level in promotion in the kingdom of God, what is required for both is faithfulness. Faithfulness. 
what is required for your promotion is faithfulness. Hallelujah. The birthing, training, and development of true leadership involves true transformation. This transformation takes place in the factory of God. Any leader of God's people must be manufactured from God's own factory and marketed by God himself. Allow the Lord to market you. Hallelujah. You don't have to do go about in self-aggrandizement, but God will promote you. God will market you in his kingdom. So my brother and my sister today, God is calling for men and women who will yield to his making process as we grow toward spiritual maturity. God wants to make leaders and servants that will assist in birthing other leaders and servants. In order to fully understand God's making process, let us look at the manufacturing process in a factory and then draw an analogy from it. But again, what did I say is that God wants to make leaders and servants that will assist in birthing other leaders and servants. However, when we come and we look at the body of Christ today, there are many leaders that are fearful or afraid, jealous of other people because they don't want to birth other leaders. Although they might say it, they are fearful. But how many know that we are not supposed to fear? Hallelujah. Because what we are doing, even as leaders, as servants in the kingdom of God, it's not about us, but it's all about Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. So as we look about a factory, a factory is a place where goods are made with machinery. A factory is a place where goods are made with machinery. These goods or products undergo a multifaceted process before the end product is approved released and distributed. This process is known as manufacturing. Manufacturing literally means to make by hand, to make by hand. So let's look at the food manufacturing industry. This will help set some light and open the door to the understanding of God's manufacturing process. There are four steps in manufacturing that I would like to focus on tonight. Four steps in manufacturing. The first step in the manufacturing process includes growth and selection. First step in the manufacturing process includes growth and selection. The food manufacturing process includes growing and selecting raw materials, harvesting, processing, preserving, packaging, labeling, and distributing. Usually, there's a group of people selected to monitor the growth of individual food items or raw material. When these items are fully developed, they are properly harvested and separated for processing. So God begins his manufacturing process in us through our faithfulness in the little things. God honors us through our faithfulness in the little things that we do for him. Just a little bit of faith is all we need as a grain of a mustard seed. As we remain faithful and committed to the God assignments in our lives, God begins, God begins to develop our gifts and talents and then grows us in the art of leading and serving. David is a good example. David began by taking care of his father's sheep. 
and out of his faithfulness, God began to develop leadership qualities in him. Number two, the second step in the factory of God is the processing step. Second step in the fact with God is the processing step. Usually, the processing step is quite sophisticated and tedious. It is often the most crucial and the most critical costly step to the manufacturer. The process may include cleaning, cutting, dehydrating, preserving, and so forth. This is what God does with his leaders. He cuts away the dead branches. Uh, just like on, there's a lot of different trees, you have to continue to keep cutting the branches in order for the to continue to grow as it is supposed to be. So in the processing step, God begins a character work in us. God begins to expose the impurity in us so that it can be dealt with. The third step in the factory of God, the third step in the factory of God is the packaging step. The packaging step. And this step of the process is packaging and God is the master packager. God knows that outer casing is essential because it ensures separation and protection of the product from external, physical, internal, and environmental forces. There are almost as many packaging techniques as there are products. Various media are used to packet the products such as metal, plastic, cardboard, paper, and many other types of containers. Yet, in this processing step, there are only three levels. The first and primary level of layer is the packaging that makes direct contact with the product. It is the most intimate layer between the product and its environment. The second layer is supplemental to the primary level and provides further protection, support, and ease of handling the product and its contents. The third layer is the outer layer for distribution. An example is a carbonated drink and an aluminum can. The primary layer is, is, is the drink itself. The second layer is the interconnected plastic rings that hold multiple cans together. And the third layer is the cardboard carton necessary to ship and distribute the product. So too often, Christians attempt to package themselves without submitting to every level of God's process. They fail to sell because they cannot make it through the physical, external, internal, and environmental influences. They reach the distribution damaged and below acceptable market value. God's leaders according to the Kairos timing of God, will be packaged and marketed by him alone. What God packages becomes the best product on the retailer's shelf. Allow God to package you. The fourth and last step in the factory of God is quality assurance. Quality assurance. Throughout the process, the Quality Assurance Committee plays many important roles. They constantly monitor all aspects of the process by inspecting and testing the products. Their goal is to make sure that the highest level of quality is achieved. 
after careful inspection and testing. The next step is the labeling process, which is done in accordance with industry standards and regulatory statutes. These are approved and established by the federal government. The labeling process is extremely important because the product most accurately reflect the manufacturer's claims along with the name and address of the manufacturer. So God's factory is called the factory of time for he is our great creator. The products released from this factory are polished and accurate men and women of God who will carry out his purpose to the letter and will serve the purpose of his or her generation. It is in the factory that the manufacturing of all leaders and servants must take place in order to grow towards spiritual maturity. At each state of his factory, God works his ingredients with his own hands, investing them with his qualities, grace-given abilities, talents, and anointing. The master packager knows when the preparation is complete and made ready to be released to the consumers, which are the people of God. Allow yourself to go through God's factory. As we are growing towards spiritual maturity, we must go through God's factory. Remember Jeremiah 1 and 5. As I come to a conclusion, Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And Jeremiah 29 and 11, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. So whatever we are going through, know that God is going to bring you through, through this process. If we learn to look to Jesus, if we learn to go through the process, don't be trying to skip a and go all the way to Z. You have to go to A to B to C all the way till you get to Z in this process of growing toward spiritual maturity. It's not something that we would get to overnight. It is a marathon and not a sprint. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And as we know, we will be back again on this Sunday, this Sunday for our Sunday Empowerment Worship Service at 11.30 a.m. And we are continuing our series of more grace, more grace. Um, so at this time, everyone can stand. So we give the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And the people of God say, Amen. <laughs>